Hi, jazz guitar aficionados around the globe. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. In this guitar lesson, I'm going to be teaching you time after time chord melody style. No, this is not Cine Lopez hit from the 80s, but the jazz standard time after time made uh, famous by Frank Sinatra, Chad Baker, or Shirley Bassey. I show everything note for note, slow and easy. And I've also made taps and a backing track, which you can both download from one of the links down below in the description box. All right, here we go. We are in the key of E flat major and we have two sections, each of these being uh, 16 bars, so we have a total of 32 bars. All right, and here's the first phrase. We start with an E flat major chord. Guess you know this one. Uh, six, eight, seven, eight in a four strings. Followed by a C minor seven, actually 11 it turns out to be then. We start 8, 8, 8, just to the G string, and then we add the 6th of the B string as a single note. And now it's uh, F minor 7, just the guide tone voicing, which means just the 3rd and the 7th, and actually the root 2. F, A flat, E flat, 8, 6, 8. We wait for a long time, one, two, three, and now we are on B flat uh, dominant chord. B flat uh, nine this is, there is no root in there. This would be the root, the sixth fret. And I start on the fifth, six, five, six. That's also a D half diminished. So a D half diminished is actually a B flat nine chord. Then I go back to an E flat major and all you need to do is kind of you stay on the same on the same string sets, but you uh, spread your fingers. E flat again. Then I uh, bar over to the eighth fret of the E string. C minor seven. That comes from this C minor chord, but I don't play the root here. So five. Here's the root five, four, and six. Then to the G. And the last chord in our first phrase is an F minor 7 inversion. I start with its third, that's the uh, A flat. So fourth fret, third of D, fifth and fourth. All right, let me repeat this for you slowly so you can uh, follow. Three, four. The second phrase starts with a pickup bar, 
So um, this is a B flat nine again, five, six, five, six. And now it's the next uh, bar, E flat major again. We had this before, same movement. And this time we go up to an E flat major seven up here, eight, 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 ten. Regular E flat major seven, uh, top string voicing. Then I lift this pinky off and I press the 8th fret, the C, and then the, the G on the B string. So, right, again. Now it's a C minor 11, we had this before already too. So 8, 8, 8, 6, this is all four strings. Two, three, then the G string again. And now we have a minor cadence, D half diminished. That's the same chord we just had as a B flat nine chord. Now it really is a D half diminished. Five, six, five, six. And it will last a full bar, an entire bar, I mean. Uh, so I, f I kind of make a little filler thing going on. All right, this is one, two, and then I play the A string again. Then the upper three strings, D, G, and B strings. And now make a little bass line down to the G. That's the five chord. I want to go here. So I take uh, di diatonic uh, tones, the tones that appear in the uh, scale. A flat, uh, sorry, B flat, A flat, and then I go to G and I put my other fingers, I add my other fingers to it to form a G7 sharp 5 chord. That's G, F, B, and E flat. 3, 3, 4, 4. All right, so here we go. One, two, bass, up, bass, bass, bass. One more time. One last thing here is the G7 sharp 5 chord. This time the G is being transposed up here. So I have 3, 4, 4, 3. All right, here's the entire phrase number 2 at slow tempo. Um, here it starts. 1, 2, 3, 4, So here in the next four bars, we are at uh, phrase number three. We start, actually we jump over from uh, the G7 alter to a C minor up here, C minor seven. That's a C, G, B flat, E flat, 10, 12, 11, 11. Regular upper uh, chord string voicing, upper string voicing. Then another C minor seven, eight, 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 eight. Here's the root. Then I add the ninth, which is on the tenth of the E string. And then I go to an A half diminished. I have a minor cadence now going on. And for the A half diminished, I take advantage of the open A string. And I strum through the entire A half diminished chord slowly. This is seven. This is the, another root. Eight, eight, eight. All right, A half diminished. And then it's five chord is a D7 altered. I take a D7 sharp five here, because I need this in a melody. 10, 11, 11, 10. Hope you can see this, right? So, and now we have a G minor to C7 going on. G minor 11, we start off. Here's the G, D, F, and C. Then I bridge over to the B flat on the high E string. Then a G minor nine chord, that's three, 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 five. Then I move this out to the B flat and I play the E string on the sixth fret. Okay, here's the G minor uh, bar. And now what would be in the music notation, it would say G half diminished to C altered, that's a two, five. I uh, play a tritone substitute instead of the G altered, and that's a 
D flat 9 sharp 11 chord. This is a little tricky because it gets really narrow here. Here's the D flat, F, B, E flat, and G. You need to bar this and move everything to the left. All right, so I strum through all the five strings and then I go to its five chord, the C altered. Eight, nine, 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 here would be the root, the C. We don't play that. And then the eighth fret of the E string. Here's the root actually. Now, that was a little tricky, so here's the entire phrase at slow tempo. Three, four. And here is the last phrase of the A section. This is phrase four. We start with an F minor 911 chord. It's another tricky one. So um, this is the F and the sixth, eight, eight, and the sixth of the E string. I bar all the way from the A to the E string, a high E string. I don't play the low E string though. It just uh, I just um, have little fingers, so I fret like this and not like this. Okay. Then I put my pinky one to the right. Here's a better angle for you. And I play the inner four strings. Usually I, I don't um, bar anymore, so I move this down. Then uh, back to the ninth and back out to the seventh. So this F minor 11, oops, F minor seven, inner four strings, F minor nine, inner four strings, F minor seven, right? Then we go to D flat 13. That's D flat, B, F, and B flat. Then, uh, where are we? All right, C altered. C7 sharp five chord, eight, eight, nine, nine. Four. And now it's a very interesting chord, B9 sharp 11. That's a, a tritone substitute for the F. Um, how do we want to fret it? I would say fret it with the, uh, with the uh, thumbing bass. That's B, A, C sharp, and F. So I'm, I'm barring this. You could also play it like this. I can't even do that. So, um, right? But it doesn't matter. Anyway, you do it. It's good. All right. And then this would last for an entire bar, so I do some uh, random picking. One, two. I just go down the strings. B string, G string, D string. Uh, sorry. Then a rest, and then a B flat seven, six, six, seven. And it's the pickup for to start all over again. Eight and six of uh, B. All right, and here's the entire phrase number four at slow tempo. Three, four.
Welcome to the B section. The first five bars are identical to the A section, so let's all take a quick look at them again. E flat, C minor, second bar, F minor, third bar, fourth bar, and fifth bar. And that's, here is where we stop. Well, we don't stop, but where uh, now the the B section is different from the A section. After that, we go to B flat minor. That's six, 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 six. And then the five chord is an E flat. And here's my Sander chord for you. E flat seven, flat nine with the flat nine in bass. I love that sound. I always use it when I need uh, to have the root in a melody because this would be another way, but I like this one. If you can't fret it, just play the, the melody tone here on the, on the fourth fret. So this is the seventh fret of A, the fifth, the sixth, and the fourth. All right, so one, two, three, four, and up it goes. Now it gets really high for the B section, A flat major seven we have like the E flat, but up here, A flat, E flat, G, uh, what is the C? And uh, we played all the way up till the high E flat. For entire bar, one, two, three, four. And now it goes to change its key to, t uh, to the minor tonality of A flat minor seven. So now we have 11, 13, 11, 12, 11. And to its five chord, the D flat seven, or actually the, um, the notes are, uh, say A flat minor six, but that's uh, actually the same as a D flat nine chord. So we have the ninth, the 10th and the ninth by barring. And then later on, we add the 11th, the E flat of the E string. Right, so one, two, And now this is our highest uh, chord. This is actually supposed to be an E flat major. We can't fret it all, so I just play the upper three strings of it. 15th fret. And now it's a C minor seven. I'll play it down here, but I chose just because everything moves so quickly, I just play these uh, high three strings. So that's 12, 11, 11 of a C minor seven chord. And then uh, I add the 13th of the E string, the F. And that's it. And here's phrase number seven at slow tempo. Three, four, one, two, three. Now, this is really phrase seven. Sorry, the previous one was phrase six. So uh, the last one, two, three, four, five, six bars of uh, our song. And we have an A half diminished chord now, and I take advantage of the open A string. So that's 10, 12, 10 by barring, and 11. I strum through it. Then I go up with my uh, ring finger and I play the 13th of the G and the 13th of the E string. And this is part of uh, the A flat minor six or D flat nine chord. It's too high to fret, so I just went for a sixth, an interval of a sixth, right? Then I remain here and I play a G minor seven chord. That's a regular chord derived from this uh, this uh, thing 12 12 11 13 then 15th of the E string C minus 7 we had that before just a part of it actually 12 11 11 and the 13th of the E string and now these two bars are being repeated so again a half diminished 
the sixth interval on the thirteenth fret, the G minor seven up to the fifteenth, C minor seven, thirteen, and now it goes down to F minor seven. That's the same as the G minor seven we had just now. Ten, ten, nine, eleven. Then a B flat seven flat nine in the shape of a diminished chord. B diminished, uh, 9, 10, 9, 10, and the E flat, the last chord is the E flat 6, or E flat 6, 9, and this, actually, right now, we don't even fret the 6th, so it is an E flat uh, at 9. This is 11, 10, 11, 11, of the upper three strings. All right, and here's the entire phrase number seven at slow tempo for you. Two, three, four. Time is really a beautiful tune, don't you agree? I really enjoyed teaching you this lesson. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button, and I see you next week. Ciao, ciao, servus, baba.